Welcome to this new Voxel Play tutorial. In today's video, we'll explore the exciting new microvoxels feature added to Voxel Play, designed to give you more creative control and realism in your voxel worlds. From half voxel based terrains to powerful editing tools and expanded API support, let's dive in and see what's new. First, let's talk about the half step surface option. Traditionally, voxel terrain is made of full 1x1 one one blocks. Now, with half-step surface enabled, found in the Terrain Generator Inspector, the asset will automatically create half-voxels when needed, intelligently placed based on altitude and position. This adds smoother transitions to your environments and brings a more natural look to your voxel worlds. Building on this, Voxel Play now supports rendering two different voxel definitions inside a single 1x1 one -one voxel. This allows for more detail and variety in your landscapes, creating unique and visually interesting effects that weren't possible before. In play mode, slab mode can be enabled pressing H in the demo scene. Additionally, the smart biome surface option will preserve appearance regardless of the height of the placed voxels. When you place a top half over an existing half voxel, the system automatically completes it with the correct appearance combining both top and bottom halves seamlessly. This small improvement makes building and interacting with the terrain feel more intuitive and natural. Voxel Play 3 also introduces a new Add Half Voxels tool in editor mode. With this tool, you can place half voxels directly in the editor, switch between top and bottom halves using the ALT key, and delete them with Shift. Just like in play mode, the system will preserve voxel appearance. For example, Grass stays on top and soil at the bottom, giving you precision and consistency when editing your worlds. Voxel Play 3 includes a dedicated page dedicated to explaining microvoxels. Check also the available methods in the programming section. These new APIs expand your ability to programmatically work with microvoxels, offering more flexibility and customization options for developers who want to push the limits of their projects. And remember, Everything you see in the demo scenes are built on top of the APIs. This means that your custom character controllers and game logic can use microvoxels in the way you need, and not limited by the sample input controllers provided with the asset. That wraps up the latest features in Voxel Play 3. We can't wait to see what you'll create with these new tools. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more tutorials, tips, and showcases. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.